Most seeding equipment for vegetable production has been designed to work with a tilled seed bed where the soil is crumbly and free of residue, like what you see on the left-hand side of this picture. The tillage has a lot of negative impacts on the soil, especially when it is done when the soil is too wet. If the soil forms a ball easily and smears on your hand, tillage won't work well and will cause damage. To reduce tillage in vegetable operations, we've been looking at no-till seeding into a winter-filled forage radish cover crop, like what you see on the right-hand side of this picture. Forage radish doesn't leave a lot of residue on the soil surface, but the seedbed is still not quite like a tilled seedbed. Here you can see forage radish beds with oat residue in the paths. Compared to the oats, radish leaves little residue, but there are still some radish carcasses in the field. We are looking at whether push seeders can work as no-till seeders under such conditions. We looked at three different push seeders. The Earthway, which is the old standby for many farmers and gardeners and runs a little over $100. The Jang, which is a Korean made seeder that comes with the option of a small double disc opener and runs close to $500 with that attachment. And the Napic, a Brazilian seeder that we imported. The price of the Napic itself, minus the import and shipping fees, was about $700. We wanted to try this seeder even though it's not available in the U.S. because we thought the design looked promising for no-till. We found the Earthway does seem to pick up a lot of residue. To be fair, the Earthway was not intended for no-till seeding and we were using it out of its recommended use. The furrow opener doesn't slice or roll over any residue. Instead, it collects and drags the residue in front. The drag chain, which is supposed to cover the seeds with soil, doesn't work under these conditions. Some farmers have reported that the earthway has worked well for them planting into radish residue, but there are certainly constraints. The jang was also not intended for no-till seeding, but with a double disc opener, it was able to slice through the soil and residue without getting caught up. As we suspected might be the case, the larger double disc opener on the Napic had the easiest time slicing through the soil and residue. The ability to add weight to the front, as you can see with the rock we added, helps give the seeder the heft for no-till seeding. Overall, it seems that a double disc opener may be an essential part of an effective no-till push seeder. In addition to purchasing a seeder that comes with a double disc opener, it may be possible to modify existing seeders with a double disc opener and enable no-till seeding. We'll see if these seeds come up and report back.